Good evening, everybody. This is your favorite aspiring classicist here, a wandering author, reminding you that we are all the authors of our own lives. As always, my message remains the same. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. And today we're going over chapter four of book six of Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. So remember, um, in books basically two through five, he talks about the virtues of character or uh, ethos, uh, ethique. <laughs> And those we had discussed in an approximate way, things like courage and magnificence, um, by saying that it's kind of like recognizing the mean between two extreme boundary marks where the boundaries are bad. But at the beginning of book six, the first three chapters, <laughs> Aristotle mentions that there must be some way in which we discern what this mean is. And those can be good or bad functioning things. And that's what the intellectual virtues are. The virtues of dianoia, which means thought. The virtues of thought. How do you think well, basically. And he broke down the elements of the soul, or suke, which is also psyche in English, um, into five separate components. And today we're going over one of them, which is art. Now, he's not just talking about like drawing pictures or paintings here. He's talking about things like technical skills, too. Um, even playing guitar, for example. So, what does he have to say about art? Well, the class of things that admit of variation includes both things made and actions done. So he divides um, the things that we do that are variable up into two different categories. Uh, we, we can make things and we can do things. But making is different from doing. Hence, the rational quality concerned with doing is different from the rational quality concerned with making. Nor is one of them a part of the other. For doing is not a form of making, nor making a form of doing. So, to make something and to do something are totally different things. And there must be a virtue associated with both of them. So, now, architectural skill, like building a house, for instance, is an art, uh, techne, uh, in the original Greek, and it is also a rational quality concerned with making. So, art is the virtue that's associated, or the, the kind of knowledge or virtue of thought that is associated with making things. It follows that an art is the same thing as a rational quality concerned with making that reasons truly. So to have art or techne, that means that you've got the rational quality that is concerned with making and it's reasoning truly. And then this lovely quote, all art deals with bringing something into existence. And to pursue an art means to study how to bring it into existence, a thing which may either exist or not, and the efficient cause of which lies in the maker and not in the thing. So, the artist is the one who is actually bringing the art into existence, not the object that uh, he is making. For art does not deal with things that exist or come into existence of necessity or according to nature since those have their efficient causes in themselves. So, uh, like, you know, if something, uh, if, if, a, if an animal has a baby, it is, it is its own cause, essentially. The animal is able to propagate itself. Or plants do kind of the same thing. Uh, so that's different. But as doing and making are distinct, it follows that art, being concerned with making, is not concerned with doing. Art's only concerned with making, not with doing. And in a sense, art deals with the same objects as chance. As Agathon says, chance is beloved of art and art of chance. Art, therefore, as has been said, is a rational quality concerned with making that reasons truly. Its opposite, lack of art, is a rational quality concerned with making that reasons, that reasons falsely. Both deal with that which admits a variation. So, the um, first several chapters of this book, we're just going to be going over through definitions of the different um, types of knowledge. And then towards the end, he's going to go over wisdom. And remember, this is a practical, uh, this was meant to be a practical treatise, something that Aristotle wrote in order to have real world like implications. This isn't just an intellectual exercise. He intended us to um, use the knowledge that he's given us to um, improve our own lives. So, yeah.
I've got plenty of stuff to go. Um, that's really all we got today about art. So that is what art is or technical skill. Um, it's concerned with doing, and remember, all art deals with bringing something into existence. This is a wandering author here, um, reminding you that we're all the authors of our own lives. What are y'all doing in order to inspire, uplift, and empower your local community today? Because this world isn't changing unless we all do our part, and you can count on me to do mine daily. Till next time, love y'all.